What's next? It's the question that begins all our exploring. It ignites our imagination. Inspires us to bring tomorrow into today. Tomorrow, metals will flow. Beauty will be powerful. Borders will disappear. Reflections will be free. Colors will live. The future will be the present. Light the way to next. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Asim Varsi, Vice President Marketing, Mobile and IT at Samsung India Electronics. Good afternoon, everyone. We are delighted to have you with us as we bring the next level of innovation for our consumers in India. As the industry leader, we stay in tune with the pulse of the market at all times. And we strive to foretell the future of consumer aspirations and experiences. Samsung has steadily shaped the consumer and demand and dynamics in the Indian market by bringing many firsts. But the biggest inflection point, perhaps, is what we will bring to smartphone technology here today. I have personally been part of many product launches, including from the very first Samsung Galaxy at Samsung India. And what an incredible journey it's been. But today is bigger and more exciting than anything ever before. We see that consumers have increasingly become discerning, which reflects in their quest for newer and better technology. Today, consumers view mobile phones not just as communication devices, but really as an indispensable personal device that makes their lives easier and better. For these consumers, just making a bigger than bigger screen is no innovation and does not make a better smartphone for them. We are here sharing with you the results from the most significant team effort in this company's history. We at Samsung started from the ground up and reached for something entirely new. On that note, let's get ready to unveil the next galaxy. Please join me in welcoming the President and CEO of Samsung India Electronics, Mr. H.C. Hong. Dear friend from the media, it is a pleasure to be back with you again. I hope you are as excited as we are. As we prepare to herald what is next, the last 20 years have been an incredible journey for Samsung. In this country of beautiful and enterprising people, with two manufacturing units and three R&D centers. We have already grown into a big family of 45,000 people across the value chain. Indeed, you can call us the torch bearers of making India. We also make for India. Our Research labs and plants are rolling out product, keeping the Indian consumers' tastes and needs in mind. Our R&D team here in India is among the best in the world. Samsung has been working hard to bring innovations that make the Indian consumers' lives 
better and more beautiful. Samsung's India Research Centers and manufacturing facilities are creating innovations not just for India, but also for the entire world. I have to appreciate India's rich intellectual capital and vibrant research culture. We are very working closely with our consumers. Our vision is to inspire the world around us. We create the future through our innovative technologies and we will continue to do that. As a result, we are able to bring to you today the Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge, two beautiful smartphones that will change the benchmarks for smartphone technology and design forever. The most advanced smartphone in the world. Next is now. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the all-new Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hong. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Great. Joining us on this exciting day is an engineer, a designer, an innovator, someone who embodies the vision of Samsung to bring alive technologies that make lives easier and richer. He is an Indian who has redefined technology development. From modest beginnings to a scholarship at the MIT to taking the tech world by storm, he now straddles multiple cultures and languages that all converge into one, the language of human technology. He is the man who made Samsung Gear a reality, the man at the helm of many exciting developments of Samsung today. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome my colleague, 
the Vice President of Research at Samsung Electronics, Pranav Mistri. Pranav Bhai, game show. Thanks, Asim. All right, it's wonderful to have you here, Pranav. Every time you think of technology and people, what comes to your mind? First of all, it's wonderful to be here. Uh, the world of technology is exciting. Technology brings endless possibilities, and when we fuse it with our real world, the, the lifestyle, it inspires us to go beyond what is next or what is possible. Technology is not only about, uh, about machines or gadgets. It's about us, how we live, how we interact, how we communicate with each other. But in the end, any technology is only meaningful when it can reach to people. It is that human aspect that makes all the difference. All right, Pranav, as a research person, how do you look at innovation? Interesting question. In fact, research and innovation go hands in hand. We research to expand our understanding about science, design, engineering, and world around us. At Samsung, we research to how to make our current digital devices more powerful, more advanced, more faster, better. We research to bring those magical technologies into reality. While on the other end, the innovation at Samsung is a journey that begins with the users like you and me. With the vision of constantly improving the, how we interact with our digital world, wherever we go. Also, innovation in, in itself doesn't mean anything unless it's about people. And that is why we constantly listen to our people, listen to our audience, listen to our users at Samsung. What they dream for, what they want in the next big thing. So tell us, Pranav, how did the new Samsung Galaxy S6 get developed? The journey of S6 development was exciting. It was about going back to the fundamentals and creating something from scratch. Every aspect of S6, the design, the material, UX, and technology were worked upon by Samsung an entirely new perspective. The aim was to create the most beautiful and the most advanced smartphone ever. The smartphone that blends the design and technology into one and sets the new standard for mobility. And let me, let me start with the design. The design of S6, S6 Edge, is intentional in every detail. It's that beautiful craftsmanship of metal and glass that makes it very apart from any other smartphone that you can see in market. And ergonomically, it's very easy to hold in hand. Its natural grip, because of the edge screen, make it not only intuitive to use, but just intuitive to hold in your hand. True. The UX was also thought from very beginning. We started from very beginning how to have a new, complete, simple, intuitive UI. And now let's talk about the technology part. What is inside this S6? With S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge, Samsung went beyond any limits. With first-of-its-kind technology, S6 is setting a new standard all over again. World's first 14-nanometer, 64-bit mobile processor. High-performance camera, 16-megapixel camera with f1.9 lens. The pixel density of 577 ppi. This is a Quad HD Super AM OLED screen. And not to forget, it has embedded wireless charging. And these are just some of the specs. In short, with S6, Samsung created the most advanced smartphone world has ever seen, period. And I really would love to congratulate our R&D folks, R&D colleagues in Samsung Research India, who have contributed a lot to this development of Galaxy S6. And you will hear about more uh, on this on, with Dipesh. Indeed, we will, Pranav. Pranav, how do you decide what's next? That is a tricky one. And the answer is our users. Yeah. What decides the direction of Samsung next big thing? What drives us to make better products? Our users. They talk, we listen. They dream, we realize. At Samsung, 
innovation is a journey. And I'm excited to be part of this journey to constantly evolve technologies that bring the future to here and now. I think Sanskrit poet Kalidas once had said that Hyastu Swapnaha, Swastu Abhasaha. Yesterday is but a dream, tomorrow is only a vision. But today a value makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. In that spirit, I would say Galaxy S6, the next is now. Thank you very much, Pranav. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Sir. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Pranav. Now let's talk about India's contribution towards this iconic product. I would like to invite on stage the men behind the Indian R&D scene, my colleague Dipesh Shah. Dipesh heads the R&D at Bangalore. Morning, Dipesh. Good afternoon, Dipesh. Welcome to have you here. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, thanks Asim for the introduction. It's great to be here today. It's an exciting day for all of us at the Samsung India R&D team. Samsung's emphasis on business and innovation is very essential to our business. Samsung has a number of strategically spread R&D centers across the globe. But India, among them, is a hot spot for our innovation strategy. We have three R&D centers in India contributing to various Samsung's businesses, both for global as well as for local market. Samsung employs more than 10,000 R&D employees in India, making it among the largest R&D talent pool available from one single country within Samsung. Samsung Research in Delhi develops emerging solutions for high-end televisions and digital media products, whereas the Noida R&D Center focuses on smartphone development and product R&D. The Bangalore Center is the largest overseas R&D facility of Samsung, and we focus on the smartphones, semiconductors, and the printer software. Founded in 1996, the Bangalore Center has grown to be significant contributor to the cutting-edge products and services of Samsung. Friends, believe me, the past year has been an interesting journey working with colleagues across the world and contributing towards the design and development of Samsung flagship devices. We hope consumers around the world will enjoy the efforts of our R&D efforts contribution from India. Many of our engineers are involved in the application and modem processor software development of S6, which makes it the most powerful smartphone in the world today. Expert engineers in our multimedia team enhance the camera experience with HDR, OutFocus, Virtual Shot, a large part of the internet browser that goes with S6 is developed from the team at Bangalore. India's 4G consumers may enjoy fast speeds with the download booster that combines LTE and Wi-Fi data together. That's developed out of Bangalore. The S6 with the Gear companion connectivity will enhance the productivity of business people. And Indian consumers can enjoy personalizing their phone experience with the team experience that we've added into S6. Friends, Samsung's new design philosophy, design with purpose, is coming alive with the new Galaxy devices. Each one of the changes that we are doing is suggested by customers across the world and our friends on the internet. We simply focus on the essentials, we reimagined and recreated the user experience so it's more intuitive, simpler to use, and yet amazingly beautiful. The experience on these new devices is exactly what you've been waiting for. Our engineers are proud to see their creation to improve lives of millions of people in our own country, including their own friends and families. It's been a phenomenal journey, 
and we are excited to keep searching for what's next to bring the future to the present. Thanks once again, and it was wonderful talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dipesh. We would now like to invite Asim back on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the next is now. Behold the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge, the most advanced, the most powerful smartphones in the world out there today. Capabilities which no other phone can match. Take a look. The first dual screen, dual edge curved display coming on a smartphone. It indeed took Samsung years of innovation to produce this mesmerizing design that we all thought, frankly, was a thing of the future, but here it is now. It's, I'm also happy to tell you, and using very simple uh, uh, technical terminology, this device is designed to look really cool. These phones also are beautifully designed so you can hold it and see it for yourselves. When the team started at Samsung on this project, we started from scratch and imagined an entirely new design with never before seen technology inside it. The next level of enterprise solutions as well to boot. With the Samsung Knox and its MDM partners, these phones will give business and government the confidence that the best security and data protection would be required to provide. We also understand and know the full value of our devices depends on the connection speeds that are offered. And we are relentless, therefore, in pursuing the best LTE technology. To carriers, indeed, this is great news. When their networks are going to be ready, our users will be too. Now let's take a look at the design. Every detail inside this device was carefully considered, crafted to serve a very defined purpose for our consumers. We focused on only the essentials to make the devices as refined as possible. And at the core of it all, the S6 and the S6 Edge are a pure reflection of our energy and commitment to designing with purpose. Watch this. What we have is a delicate curved glass panels and a precisely engineered metal frame combined with the sensors and buttons in a minimalist design that will enthrall you the moment you hold it. Let's start now with the glass and the delicate process that goes behind to create it. It takes an amazing 800 degrees Celsius to curve this glass. And as you can imagine, when you're dealing with tens of millions of devices, it's nearly impossible to get that procedure just right so that you can commercialize it. But we were finally able to do that at Samsung, and now we have the first of its kind device, the S6 Edge. At Samsung, we see a great opportunity for growth with the Edge displays and curved screens in the mobile device market in the future, and we will continue to anticipate and meet consumer demands in this arena. This really is a one-of-its-kind device and design. As soon as you do pick it up out there in the demo area, you're going to notice something else as well, the colors. They're simply stunning. With a jewel tone quality that gives it a sense of depth and richness to the glass. For example, when you see the gold, you will see that it ha seems to have a life of its own, moving between gold and silver, depending on the way you hold it and the kind of light that falls on it. Now, both the S6 as well as the S6 Edge come in other shimmering colors as well, all of them exuding a mystical quality like you've really never experienced in any other smartphone prior to this. 
We see that many smartphones incorporate metal components into their designs. And in them, the emphasis usually is on the thinness of the metal layer when it is fitted to the body of the smartphone. However, these designs in the past have had some drawbacks, including interfering with the electromagnetic signals uh, of this device. Not just that, cold temperatures could make these metal surfaces rather unpleasant to hold. However, now in the S6, the metal frame is no doubt really slim, yet it is 1.5 times stronger than the metal that it was selected for and used in many other smartphones. This is the sort of metal that is used in aircraft yacht and mountain bike manufacturing. Now framing the glass panels in a thin metal surround makes the smartphone indeed look slipper and it is going to be apparent to you as soon as you hold it that it is really slim and really light. The S6 is made of Gorilla Glass 4. This is the latest Gorilla Glass and it is the toughest on the market out there right now. Our engineers and in designers have also accomplished all of these amazing results and created a timeless device using glass and metal. Talking about user design. Now, we do understand that the Galaxy S6 is the ultimate accessory as it's going to become for modern lifestyle. So just as everything about the exterior is beautiful, the inner beauty is just as important and amazing because interacting with the device has also been greatly enhanced. The new design philosophy, which is design with a purpose, was applied to the interface as well. Everything about the interface has been reimagined and recreated. Now, we've been listening to our consumers and, and friends out there who asked us to reinvent, to rethink, to simplify the user interface. So the UX that we designed for this device is no doubt far more intuitive and simpler to use. Now we started with a more logical structure and reduced the depth to the menus as well as the settings. Plus, we also swapped out all the abstract icons and replaced them with clear, concise text, making it easier. We removed everything that got in the way of you having to to have the best experience with your device. No more unnecessary um, alerts or notifications or struggling with hard to find and hard to use features. And we see that when great interfaces combined with powerful processes, there really is no lag, no stuttering. And even the smallest gestures are easily picked and registered. These devices we do believe are insanely responsive when you test it out yourself. Our new phone's visual experience also is exactly what we believe consumers have been waiting for. We used bright and simple colors to make everything more clear and organized. We used color codes to make quick associations with specific apps. So, for instance, green is the phone, purple is video, orange are contacts, simple color codes, now let me also show you how to use the camera in the S6. You will never miss a moment waiting for the camera to start. The launch of the camera on the Samsung Galaxy S6 is a mere 0.7 seconds. The accelerated launch speed, which was made possible by a user-centered change to the camera app. Taking selfies with this device is definitely going to be a breeze with the palm gesture, as well as the VDIS, or the Video Digital Imaging stab Image Stabilization feature. A lot of big enterprises are going in for it. So how do you, uh, I mean, uh, compare with this thing with that? And my second question is that uh, Apple is launching this Apple Pay and all to expand, in, expand its field into e-commerce and all. So how do you see it going to the uh, next big thing, I mean, uh, for this expanding this Samsung thing into this e-commerce and all? So as a colleague, uh, uh, Sukesh has uh, uh, elaborated on the enterprise security capability. Uh, suffice to say that these devices 
uh, meet and exceed uh, some of the most stringent security requirements and norms, including U.S. defense, etc. Some of those entities and bodies that Sukesh mentioned. Uh, uh, we wouldn't here talk about other brands and their security levels, but suffice to say that these devices will be cutting edge, particularly with the Samsung Knox uh, uh, capabilities that come inbuilt. Um, in terms of the pay ecosystem, uh, these devices are fully capable of that. Uh, we would uh, build for those and serve those as the regulatory as well as the ecosystem in India supports all of that. These devices are ahead of what the, the, uh, the payment ecosystem using mobile phones in India currently provides for. Mike, please. Does the Galaxy S6... Your name, sub, uh, your name please. Yeah, this is Asif from Telecom Talk. And I want to ask if the Galaxy S6 supports 4G LTE bands in India, because there's no information around that. Can we have... Uh, can we have the voice, please? Yeah. Is it okay yeah. now? Yeah, sure. It's a Cat 6 LTE. You can't get better than that. Uh, it supports all bands in India. So it does support Indian it supports 4G LTE all bands, bands uh, uh, in India. All mobile operators in India is future ready. It's okay. Category 6, uh, which uh, can't get better than that. It's the best technology out there, LTE. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, please. Rajat here. Can I have the mic? Yeah. Rajat from BGR, a quick one, uh, you know, today you have been talking about R&D uh, in India and the whole Make in India story. Uh, is the Galaxy S6 and it, or S6 Edge being manufactured here in India or do you have any plans to start manufacturing these two products here? Uh, on R&D, uh, please Deepesh, if you want to ask, uh, say on something. On R&D, I yeah. pretty much covered what was the contribution from India R&D. And I think his main question is on the manufacturing, whether there is any... And to answer that specifically, Rajat, yes, the S6 would be getting manufactured in India as well. Uh, hi, this is Shubham from TechCog.com. Uh, over the years, Samsung has developed a USP over um, um, removable battery and uh, expandable memory as, as, as well. So uh, you traded that off uh, on the now the uh, metallic... Uh, build and everything, how do you see consumers taking it? Because I, as a consumer, used to love the expandable memory and the uh, removal back design. So how, how do you see consumer taking it? So, you know, uh, we, uh, we look at the consumer trends and, and we also noticed a lot of consumers the world over, including in India, are using uh, cloud storage. And that's the, really the trend instead of, uh, you know, plugging your device with SD cards. Uh, so uh, clearly with our top of the device uh, with 100 GB built in uh, with uh, the OneDrive, uh, there's adequate storage has been provided in terms of backup uh, for any consumers. Having said that, said that uh, we continue to evaluate a uh, lot of our models, continue to be uh, uh, shipped with, uh, with uh, SD cards, uh, but we are seeing the trends, based on consumer trends, we uh, you know, provide what consumers really want. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, uh, I have a question at the back, on your left. Where, where? Yeah, Manu. Uh, yeah, Pankaj from Times of India. I just wanted to understand, like uh, we are seeing this 4G ecosystem developing across various uh, bands now. We have FDD, TDD, 2300, 1800, and now even 800 is what people are talking about, and maybe in the future it can even go to 700. So does the phone support 4G across all these bands, or is it only restricted to a few bands? Yeah, I've answered that earlier. Uh, it supports all bands. Uh, we work very closely with all operator partners to ensure that uh, uh, these devices are future ready. So whether it's FDD uh, or a TDD, uh, whether it's 2300, 1800, uh, 800, we would support this. 800 and 700 as well? Uh, I will confirm that to you. Uh, we'll come back. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hello? It is. So it's, it supports 800 as well. Thank you. Hi, this is Molly Shree from Mint. Where? I wanted to know that, you know, with six. Where are you? Here. Here. Yes. Oh, yeah, please stand up, ma'am. Uh, yeah. 
I wanted to know whether, you know, with this S6 launching, and you know, this is a big launch. Now, what is your, what is the future that you're looking at? You know, what is the next wave of growth that you're looking at after S6 in India? If you could share some plans of that, and also with R&D three, you know, major facilities, R&D facilities in India, are you looking at, you know, increasing that capacity in India for Indian consumers as well as global consumers? Malshree, we believe that the future is already here. And that's why we, we, we are going at length to say that really the next in terms of technology, design, innovation is all embodied here and now in S6. So all hands and all focus right now on the future that's in the present in S6. Yeah. Any, any other? Uh, hi. hi, myself, Ajay Gupta. Uh, do you think uh, from a, a consumer point of view, is it feasible to uh, put a corning gorilla glass at the backside? Because once it is broken, the cost is around one third the cost of the device replacement cost. So, is it feasible from the consumer point of view? Uh, sure. <clears throat> so, we believe this de the device has been designed with exceptionally tough materials. Can they break? Perhaps. However, Gorilla Glass 4 is the best in the business of toughened glass used in smartphones today. Not only that. As I described some part in my presentation, the metal that we've used is 1.5 times tougher than conventional metal used in other premium smartphones. In fact, this is metal which is aircraft grade virtually in, in manufacturing and usage presently. So collectively, this is a really uh, hardy and, and strong package. And if all of this is not enough, uh, as I also mentioned, for pre-booking consumers who pre-book now, incidentally, also get a free one-time screen replacement for the first one year of their possession, just in case. Uh, Thank you. Hi, uh, this is Sandeep over from the Mobile Indian. Yeah, hi, uh, how are you? I'm good. A uh, couple of questions. You <coughs> said S6 will be manufactured in India. So what, when can we see the, see the first batch of S6, uh, S6 being manufactured in India? Because that will lead to a price drop, because you don't have to pay the import duty, number one. Uh, what exactly is the role that R&D uh, facilities in India played in the designing of uh, S6? Was it the UI or what is the complete design? And third, do we see some exchange offers also? The exchange offers in the pipeline for the people who have already had the old uh, Samsung phones, can they exchange this? Exchange offers. I think uh, on R&D, if you could. Yeah. Uh, R&D is a global effort. As I explained, there are R&D centers strategically placed across the globe for specific areas of work. So the Bangalore R&D has contributed to the multimedia features that makes this camera the most awesome. It has selective focus, virtual shot, etc. The internet browser in the device is largely developed out of Bangalore R&D. So like that, specific areas where the local R&D has expertise contributes to a global product. So that's the normal way to contribute to any, any product and specifically S6. And on your first and third question, uh, these are the prices. These will be there to stay. Uh, we don't have any forward guidance on any upgrade offers that may come uh, by way of cons for, towards consumers. And uh, manufacturing will start in India sooner than later. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, please. Just one add-on, like the phones that will be manufactured in India will be for the Indian consumption or they will be for the global uh, audience? Like what is the uh, thing that you are looking at? Predominantly for domestic consumption. Yeah. Hi, I am Anas Siddiqui, I am from Raj Sahara Akbar. My question is, you have talked about all the things that you have talked about. But in which way, in the city and in the metro cities, when the people are in the middle of the city, is there any special issue for them? In which way, you have kept the price of the price. In which way, you have kept the price of the price. How will the price of 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 the price? Sir, one more question. My question is that you have taken a lot of attention to this. You have taken a lot of attention to this. You have taken a lot of attention to this. You have taken a lot of attention to this. You have taken a lot of attention to this. But the way you have taken a lot of attention to this. Is there any problem that you have taken a lot of attention to this? The other people, उनके लिए कीमत बहुत ज्यादा है वो आपकी इस सेवा का लाभ कैसे ले पाएंगे अब, <laughs> अब, आ, मैं देखिए इसमें अन्य फीचर्स हैं जिससे कंटेंट और डेटा 
बिल्कुल सुरक्षित रहेगा इसमें एक खास फीचर ये भी आता है findmymobile.com जिसमें पांच से छह अलग फीचर्स हैं जो कि मोबाइल फोन की ट्रैकिंग रिकॉर्ड्स और अन्य वगैरह चीजों के लिए एक बहुत ही अच्छा और कारगर फीचर है दूसरा सवाल अगर मैं आपका सही समझ पाए आप शायद पूछ रहे हैं कि ग्रामीण भारत के लिए ग्रामीण भारत के लिहाज से मैं आपका सवाल जरा समझना चाहूंगा मेरा यह था कि जो ग्रामीण भारत है किसान लोग हैं जिन पे अक्सर जो है प्राकृतिक आपदा रहती है वो आपकी सेवा का इस मोबाइल एस का किस तरह से फायदा ले सकते हैं इतना महंगा कैसे खरीद पाएंगे क्या उनके लिए कोई सुविधा या इंस्टॉलमेंट की फैसिलिटी की आपने देखिए सैमसंग एक मार्केट लीडर होने के नाते आ, पूरे प्राइस बैंड के अक्रॉस डिवाइसेस उपलब्ध करवाते हैं अपने कंज्यूमर्स के लिए ना केवल हम लोग स्मार्टफोन्स जो कि ऐसे डिवाइसेज ऐसे वर्ल्ड लीडिंग डिवाइसेज में आ, 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 खासा फोकस रखते हैं हम लोग एंट्री लेवल स्मार्टफोन्स भी अन्य बनाते हैं और और मार्केट में प्रोवाइड करते हैं उदाहरण के तौर पे हाल ही में हमने एक जनवरी के महीने में डिवाइस भी लॉन्च किया था Z1 करके इसके अलावा हमारे और भी फीचर फोन्स भी हम लोग प्रोवाइड करते हैं तो हमारा मानना है कि हर कंज्यूमर के लिए आ, कोई ना कोई डिवाइस कोई ना कोई प्राइस बैंड के अनुसार हम लोग की ऑफरिंग अवश्य है इंडियन मार्केट में आई कैन टेक वन और टू मोर दैट सेट प्लीज रिगार्डिंग दल्स एंड से सर्टन एक्सटेंड कैलरीज सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस आर देर एनी अदर फ्रेंड्स वेर यू आर वर्किंग ऑन रिगार्डिंग द आर एंड डी ऑफकोर्स आर एंड डी इज यू नो क्वेस्ट इज टू सर्च फॉर द नेक्स्ट सो वी कंटिन्यू टू एक्सप्लोर द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑन हाउ वी कैन ब्रिंग न्यू इनोवेशन टू अवर कंज्यूमर टू अवर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विस सो देर इज एन एक्सप्लोरेशन बट आई वुड अग्री विद असिम करंटली एस सिक्स लाइक रियली द फ्यूचर इज नाउ so we believe this delivers all that r&d has produced in last decade of our work into this product thank you the last one please hi this is abhinav from phone bunch so i just wanted to ask uh, when are the accessories going to be available for the galaxy s6 in india and uh, are we going to get all the different colors that are available and the third question is are we going to see any operator subsidies or operator discounts for the smartphones as we see in the us are we going to see some what uh, partnerships with airtel vodafone and the likes in india so uh, the accessories will be available at the same time of the launch so um, this time we ensuring that all accessories are available on the r&d uh, a contribution from india so you can why don't you have a chat one to one because i am sure everybody has already heard the r&d contribution from india right? thank you we'll okay. do that separately thank you not a problem thank you yeah. Uh, one more thing i would like to tell you you know in one hour we got over 9000 tweets on s6 and s6 edge in the last one hour yeah and uh, we got 642 valid questions and we have randomly selected three three questions and uh, that is i would like that you people should answer one question is from jennifer and question is how is this selfie camera of samsung galaxy s6 the best what what's so unconventional about it manu where manu yes please uh, a great question and and camera is one of the key proposition of the galaxy s6 first of all it's got the brightest lens with f1.9 uh, which allows you 60% more light uh, than say s5 so uh, you great great quality pictures in low light condition first time in ever in a smartphone in front camera you get an hdr so again a very strong proposition third thing is it's a 5 megapixel shooter a uh, very strong proposition and fourth you can also get a you know great video quality uh, you know with stabilization as well so uh, all these four will make it the best selfie camera out there in the market Thank you. Yeah. 
The second one is from Neha Chawla and the question is what would be the benefits of having dual edge glass screen? Manu. Uh, lots actually. First of all, it's got a brilliant design. It's just when you hold it and when you go to the experience zone. Uh, just holding this device, it's, it's very different what you've seen ever. Uh, the most beautiful design, that's what. Secondly is that uh, it's got a 3D glass and uh, when you are, you know, watching videos, it just gives you a brilliant effect and very mesmerizing uh, quality experience. Uh, so that's the second thing that you see. Third thing is uh, the edge screen also has its advantages. Uh, you have something called people edge. So you would know that if your best friend that's asked to talk about or your family member called and you could use the UX to call them back immediately through shortcuts and message them and so on and so forth. And uh, the other thing what you see is if I were to put this phone downwards like this, if, for example, if I had chosen my mom's uh, color as green, it will, it will uh, glow a green sign, uh, literally uh, light. It looks just very, very beautiful. It also has notification features, uh, so you can get, uh, you know, various uh, news items, whatnot. Plus, of course, you can use it for, uh, you know, for set setting your alarms, and it's, it looks pretty cool at night as well. So, uh, a lot of offering on the edge screen on the Galaxy S Edge. Okay, the last one, and I don't know this one is question or answer, uh, from Mr. Manik Sharma, and he asked that uh, in Galaxy S6, I have read somewhere, only 10 minutes charging will give you four hours of uses. Is this true? So this is absolutely true. This is a great feature. Uh, that's why we call this. Phone is supercharged and supercharging capable.